folks. How we doing today? We did beer battered fish here a while back. Tonight, we're just going to do breaded fish. But we're going to cheat a little bit. <clears throat> At the grocery store for about two bucks, or two and a half, I think it was, we're going to try the Zatarain's fish. Uh, just a seasoned batter, gluten free. We're going to give it a shot and see what we think of it. I'll let you know as we get it done. Seems fairly easy to make. We're going to find out. Also, I'm going to make some steak fries. Fresh steak fries, not the frozen crap. So, first thing we're going to do is we got our fish sitting and thawing. Put it out of the way. <clears throat> I'm going to move you around over here. And sorry, but I have to come in from the side always. I don't have a way that I can do you from the other side of the bar. As you can tell, <laughs> I got a chair. Matter of fact, I got a kitty cat, which is asleep in the chair. Lazy ass thing. Classic. Always sleeping. Constantly. I slept that much. I be dead. We're going to do the simple thing and peel them. So I'm going to peel these things off here. Pretty simple. Do the end. Any bad spots. Get them off of there. I mean, you don't have to get all the peel, all the peel off. You don't have to take it off at all if you don't want to. I just don't care much for the peel. So, let me peel these up and we'll be right back show you the next step. Okay. Now, I know everybody probably don't have one of these. You can get them for like $13 at Walmart. The Vegematic. Things been around for 50 years. But I'm going to use the Steak fry cutter. And it just slides in there like that. Now you can do these with a knife. You can just cut them into the size that you want. But that size is about what you're after. So all I need to do is push it in there and then just hammer it home. And some of these potatoes are bigger than the thing. It pushes over like this so that you can get it started and then hammer it home. Same thing. Push them down and hammer it home. And this is what you come up with is stuff like this. They're kind of thick. Like I said, we're making steak fries, not regular French fries. Put them in there. And yeah, you all hear uh, Malcolm Reed over there from Killer Hogs Barbecue. It's my hero. <laughs> I love watching his videos. Uh, currently watching the uh, competition rib video as I'm making this video. All right. We got these all cut up. We're going to take these little itty bitty things out of here, which is the edges that you have left. Uh, like I said, I don't want anything really small like these. Now, stuff like this, you can leave. It's a smaller one, but you can still leave it. Uh, stuff like this, I want to get rid of. All they're going to do is burn when you cook them anyway. So we're going to clean all them out of there and just set them over there. You, know, you can munch on them if you want. And we're going to take these and we're just going to put them in a pan of water. I want to get that starch off of them. There's a couple there that snuck in on me. All this stuff I can keep. 
that one there can go away. And one that's trying to get away from me here. All right. I don't know if you can see that or not, but look how that water has already got murky. What it is is starch coming off of them potatoes. What I'm going to do is rinse these real well. And I'm going to give them four or five minutes here and rinse them out in the sink. And then we're going to put them on to boil them. And we're just going to lightly boil these. We do not want them falling apart like uh, mashed potatoes. So it's just a light boil. Let me get these rinsed and onto the stove and we'll be back. Looks like we got an eggshell or something in there from the last time we cooked. My dishwasher is not doing its job. All right, we'll be back. All right. Now, if you notice that the water's clear now, so now we're going to put them over here on the cooker. I'm going to use the induction top. I hit it for 275. And like I said, we don't want these to boil but just a few minutes. We're just trying to make them a little tender. We're not trying to cook them. We just want them a little tender. Once we get them tenderized a little bit, get them soft, we're going to put them in their freezer. But we're going to cook them frozen, okay? Actually, you can put them, just put them in the refrigerator be fine. Probably what I'll do, just put them in the refrigerator. Because uh, they're going to be in there for an hour or so anyway. So, And we're going to put our fish in back in the refrigerator. It's pretty much on top because we're not ready for it. Uh, and of course we're going to add some leftover uh, leftover cauliflower I couldn't spit it out so there we go but yeah leftover cauliflower so battered fish steak fries and cauliflower that's what's Moderna might we're going to let these boil a minute as soon as they start softening up we'll be right back okay we're back here's what we got going on we got a plastic bag as far as that arrangement. We're going to get some fish and some fries. Here's our fries. We had them in the freezer for a little while. They're a lot stiffer. To set them off to the side over here. We're going to take our little knife here and put you back down here. You don't need to look at my ugly ass. There you go. We'll get you down here. We're going to take this fish and pull it off of here. And I'm just going to take and cut it out of bias here and cut her in half. And set her over here. Do each one of them that way. We're going to make two pieces out of each one. Here. We're going to check this thing out here. You're going to be, I'm going to be learning as you all do. Because the deep fry, which is what we're going to do, we want, we got our oil going at 350 back there. Pour that around onto a plate or into a plastic bag. Use a half a cup uh, per pound. Roll it or shake it until it's completely covered. Okay. Let's see how are we? Didn't know if it was a pour out or if we got a bag in there. Looks like we got a bag. Looks like a plastic bag. Get you back up here so you can see what, what's going on. So what we're going to do, we're going to take and cut this. This will take it out of that. 
We'll put a big tie on this or a tie on this when we get done. How big is this pot? 12 ounces. All right, so I'm going to take a pinch off about like that. And if we need some more, we'll get some more. But basically, all we're going to do is throw our fish in here. Throw in a couple of pieces at a time, I guess. All we're going to do is cover it up. Get us a plate to put these on. Go look in here and see what we got going on here. I'm going to flatten that fish out. Take it around. There's what we got. You can see that. Get that light keeps blaring on me. So that's what we're after here. Or what we're getting anyway. I don't know if that's what we're after. We'll find out at some point. I think we'll just do two pieces at a time. Sounds right. Seems to be working all right. Here and see what we got. Shake off the excess there. It looks like it sticks really well. Yeah, looks like it covers pretty well. We'll shake off the excess. We may have to get a little more, but it ain't going to be much more. Well, put it in there on top. Put some on top there. Add it on it. I'm just, I mean, I guess you could probably just seal the bag up between each one. I'm just going to take and put it on there. Make sure it's covering everything real well and then shake her off. Actually, it looks really good. Hope it tastes good. I've never tried this stuff, so like I said, we're going to learn together. But that looks like that worked out perfect for what we needed. But the rest of it, we can seal back up and use another time. Depending on what we think of it. We may use it another time, we may not. Get her last little touch on there. There we go. We had just a drop left, but it's got fish on it. That's going in the trash. That's why we didn't want to use it all. Oh, we're staying here. Alright. Now let's move ourselves over to this one. Now this is what I do. You can do anything your little heart desires. I've got some supreme traditional seasoned salt. We're going to find the shaker. I'm just going to shake it out there pretty good. And then we're just going to mix them around in it. Got one more to save his life and jump out of the pan. Yeah, we can mix these around a little better because they're not as brittle as they were earlier. Yeah, we still got a couple that decided it wasn't to fall apart. But, like I said, just be careful with them. They're pretty solid now, but they still got a little way to go. And we're just going to wrap a. Chicken, 
simple little wire tie. I save all my wire ties off of everything. Like so. Put this back in here. Seal her up. Put her back in the cabinet. For a later date. Trash. Don't need the scissors anymore. All right. Let's move over to the deep fryer. Okay. What we did, we just big bowl and put the paper towel in it because we're going to have to drain this stuff when it's finished. I got so much going on over here. Get all this stuff out of my way. Grab my chair. I have had a bunch of back injuries and I can't stand up for very long. So we have to sit on a stool no matter what we do anymore. It's sad, but that's the way life goes. All right, we're just going to take it and just drop her in there and see if we have to do it like we do our breaded, our beer battered fish. Hopefully it won't stick to the bottom too bad. Probably going to cook about four pieces at a time. There we go. And we won't shake it too much because we don't want the breading to fall off. What I am going to get is my tongs. Every kitchen should have about three or four pairs of these things. There we go. It just says to cook them till they're golden brown. So we'll let it cook a few minutes and we'll be back. Okay, I believe we're about the time to come out on these, especially this piece. Looks like it's stuck pretty good. You see that there? We'll get it in the light over here. There we go. We're going to start pulling them here. I think they're done. To be honest with you, so we're going to pull them up here. Instead of using them tones, we're just going to dump them out. Let them drain there just a hair. In here. Oh, they look pretty. There. And we're going to go down with the second batch. Four more on this one. So we'll be back in a minute. And that box of Xanarans didn't really say. I use uh, Swahi fish because I can get it super cheap. I can make about five meals out of a bag of this stuff for nine bucks. That's why we get it. Uh, it is frozen. I'm sure you could use any kind of fish you wanted, any white fish. Uh, actually reminds me from the looks of it like a catfish breading. But it looks really good on this fish. Uh, we got a couple more seconds on that and then we're gonna whoop, pull you off onto the floor and then we're gonna throw in our steak fries. So I'll be back for those. As you can see, I got my fish done. I have turned my grease up to 375 from 350 uh, for about the last minute or so of this cook so that we can get our french fries on. The steak fries, you really need to cook them at 375. I mean, you can cook them at 350, they're just gonna take a while. Like that. that is four pieces of that fish, and that's enough to eat. That's enough to feed three or four people. I love that fish. I got a friend coming down tonight, and my brother and me, so three people are going to eat on this tonight. So anyway, let's get these on. I'm going to take, these deep fryers do not like water, so be careful if you've got a, a whole bunch of water in this pan. Try not to get it all in with it, which mine were pretty dry. Put them in there, and we are going to go wash this. Put pepper towel. No, I take it back. We've got our fish pan. We'll just stick it in there. We can just throw that to the dishwasher. Hey, dishwasher, get your ass to work. Filthy. I bet I wash everything in this kitchen 
probably twice a day, every day. And when I'm cooking like this, if I do breakfast, I got to wash it. Then if I do dinner, I got to wash them. Uh, there's a lot of days that nothing gets cooked. It's ham sandwiches or bologna or uh, p even PB and J because I just don't feel like cooking. But now these are going to take a little while. These will not cook instantly. But if you put these in raw as a raw potato, they will take forever. And I, my first time I tried to do them, oh my God, it was horrible. I cut them up by hand. I didn't have a slicer. I cut them up, put them in here, didn't boil them, just stuck them in. 15 minutes later, I had some burnt french fries that were still hard in the middle. So, boil them first. Just don't boil them too hard. I cannot stress that enough. We're going to let them cook, and then we'll be back when we pull these out, and then we're going to make a sandwich. That fish is calling my name. Okay, folks, we got her done. I'm going to get you down here and show you what we got going on. These fries turned out beautiful. Look at there. Look at that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit more of this seasoned salt. Just kind of sprinkle it a little bit. And a lot of that washed off during the cooking process. Alright. Now, we're going to cover this up for a second. Here's what I'm going to do. We'll get me out of hamburger bun here. Don't forget to save your wire ties, people. You can use them for every hour. All right, we're going to pull this out. I just literally sprayed it everywhere. Here. And we hit the floor, so we'll just lose the towel. That's all for that towel. All right. Move this over. I'm going to take and grab me a piece of this fish here for a sandwich. We're just going to slap that right on there. That is, yeah, I ain't putting nothing else on it. But what I am going to do is just get in here and grab this piece right here. Pull it out here and we're going to grab some of these fries. Put them over on that plate. And we're going to pull one right there. There we go. And then I'm gonna you got all this fattening stuff. We need to put a little freshness in here too. So we're gonna grab us a little cauliflower. That's my supper. This is for us to test right now. So French fry, crispy, soft in the middle. That's what we want. Mm. That's good. It's hot as all get out. That's good. <laughs> now let's try this. We'll cut us a little thing here. And we're going to bring it up here. Look out. That just flakes off there. And we'll give that a test. Oh, wow. Like I said, I use Swahili. You can use white fish. Probably any of it, I would imagine. But that is flaky. And it cooked for about three and a half, four minutes at the most. And that breading is good. I got to give it out to Zatarain for that one. Mm. I get me a paper towel. It's been like 95 degrees. 
So I'm doing a little of the sweat and trying to keep from dripping everywhere. But yeah, that is that is really good. Uh, again, it is. This is what I bought. It's Zataran Spry, uh, seasoned to fish batter. Uh, I can't read without my glasses. Uh, gluten free. Uh, looks like they've got lemon added. I don't know how they added lemon, but maybe the zest. Because I would say that's part of your color. Real easy to fix. Give it a shot. And I'm not endorsed by these people either. I, when I do YouTube videos and Facebook videos, they're for me and my friends and anyone who wants to watch them. I'm not out to get rich. I'm not out to get paid. You know, I know I don't have the super personality that some of these other people have got on here. I'm just showing you a poor man's way to cook. That's all it is. So, my big fat poor man's butt is going to go here and eat this fish. Because, oh man, and some fries. Oh. All right. Till next time. See ya. Hey, yeah, it's me, Monster. Hit that notification bell down there. And please subscribe.